Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the Tim the Trucker channel. I am your host, Tim the Trucker. Now, you could be anywhere else in the world, but you decide to be here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. So, without further ado, let's get to today's topic. And today's topic is becoming a CDL truck driver puts a target on your back. I say that because there's an assumption that truck drivers make a lot of money. Not all the way a false accusation, right? But with, with, with that, you know, most of us make pretty decent money, at least more than the average uh, employee out there, right? If you happen to be an employee, definitely if you're on your own truck and you are a uh, owner operator, got your own authority, and etc. etc. Of course, you make it pretty damn decent money, but regardless, as a truck driver, people see and believe and assume that you're making good money. And I, I know uh, growing up, you know, th things have changed at this point, but I know growing up, truck drivers were known for carrying a lot of cash. So that made, made them targets for um, stick ups made them targets for burglaries as far as people breaking into trucks trying to take what they had. Uh, being a truck driver, you have to be careful on disclosing what you're hauling because depending on what you're hauling, you, you make yourself a target also. So I, I say never, ever, ever tell somebody what you're hauling, you know, under under any circumstances, even, even other truckers, you never know who, who who's gonna put you in that do low twist. You know what I'm talking about? So be careful because you may think you have a friend and you may think it's cool to just disclose this information, but that little bit of information can lead someone to to pursuing you and putting you in harm's way. And you always want to be on the, the defensive and safety side of uh of, of, of this uh, profession, right? Um, also, beyond be the rippers and the uh, boosters that may try to hit your truck, you also have to be uh, mindful of dealing with uh, your like your your intimate partners, right? So anybody that you're being intimate with, be be aware of their their possible intentions. Like you you may just be there for a genuine intimacy, but they're looking beyond the intimacy to, you know, manipulate you financially or even emotionally or psychologically, right? So be careful of that, whether it's your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, whether it's a random hookup or, you know, you're out here messing with a lot lizards. I know some of y'all drivers, y'all y'all still out here messing with them lot lizards. It's your business. But, I, but specifically speaking to you know, dealing with the lot lizards and the, uh, the, uh, I don't want to call them that. I'm going to call them, uh, the, uh, the working women, the women of the night, right? Dealing with, dealing with those women, you have to also be, be careful that they don't, they don't, uh, put you in positions that, uh, they can take advantage of you. Like, like I know a lot of times they run this game where they can, uh, they drug you. And they, they sit you next to an underage young lady. Sometimes even, you know, depending on what you like, since you, you're you going to say somebody underage, they're going to take pictures of it and blackmail you. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to they gonna, they gonna blackmail you with the picture and make you go empty that bank account. If not, you know, you're going to have to face the consequences of, of that, right? Sometimes they put you in a position where they're like, oh, oh, this, uh, this this interact this intimate interaction that we had it wasn't consensual, and we know as a man that's you know you you pretty much from from your public image and also well public opinion and also the court system like you you fighting for your life in that that situation and it's, it's really about it's just you versus evidence you know what I'm saying if, if, and if they have pictures or whatever, or, you know, if she says that you did X, Y, Z, and it wasn't a consensual, man, you, you're in a bad position. And that happens a lot. You can, you know, so be careful about who you choose to be intimate with. You, you know, you, um, you don't want to, 
you don't want to face those issues, and you definitely don't want to go to go to prison for uh for a crime like that, right? Even if you even if you're innocent, you still don't want to go down the road for that. Uh, also, when it comes to girlfriends or or people spouses that you're in a relationship with, you want to be mindful of the fact that you know truck drivers get get the reputation of being promiscuous and you know out here and and uh, committing adultery and, and and all of these things, but Truth be told, I won't say it's rare, but I say for a driver, you out here working, so most of the time you don't have that opportunity. You know, maybe you know it's not something that's going on every day. Maybe, maybe every week or or so. But for so for for the person that you're in a relationship that's on the opposite end, that's that's home, that's in a comfortable environment, it's more likely for them to have that opportunity to to mess around and to deal with other people. So you, you have to be, be mindful of that also being being a target and taking advantage of in that way. People see you as as a driver. So they like, oh, I can hook up with them. They can go on the road. They can make money for me. And I can, you know, do my thing when I want to and, you know, just be be clean and be ready by the time they get back. But but you know, as we all know when it comes to uh, infidelity and promis per promiscuity, um, possibility of STDs, uh, possibility of getting someone you know, like impregnated someone. So you have, have those issues. And as a man, it's always mama's baby, daddy's baby. So, hey, proud to say, boss, I'm not baby's daddy. I be the paw boss. I'm the paw that they're young and boss. Out of <laughs> you may not even know if that's your child and you coming home and you're thinking, oh, we 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 got a kid, you know what I'm saying? And, and you have those issues also, but that's another way that you can become a target out here as a as a truck driver, right? Also, beyond beyond being being alert and aware of the people that you have intimate relationships with. You have to watch out for family and friends targeting your money in, in your situation, right? You have to watch out for family and friends. Possibly, possibly they, they may be the person that's messing around with your uh your spouse or significant other or you know what I'm saying? You have to be mouthful of that. Um you have to watch out for them always wanting to borrow, use you for money or why you gone? They want to use your vehicle. Why you gone? They want to use your house. You know. So be careful with with uh family and friends also. Next, I say, uh, oh damn, this go along with that also. Uh, if you happen to be on the road and you have like a drop a damn pen, if you happen to be on the road and you have like an apartment or a home, and people know that you're gone. And that you're a truck driver, especially over the road, and you're gonna be gone for extended periods of time away from your house. You have to watch out that people uh, don't bur burglarize your 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 residence, right? Uh, I'm gonna give you an example, right? Why 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 I say never disclose your load, but also never disclose disclose where uh where you you will be going to, and when you're gonna be gone. Um, for example. He, this guy isn't a trucker, but it was a guy. Uh, he was a he was a biker, right? He like he, he rode bikes, and he was going to Myrtle Beach for like a bike week or you know for a weekend or whatever. Go up there, you know how you know how bikers do, right? Um, and he put he posted this on Facebook. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna be out there. I'm going to Myrtle Beach this weekend or whatever. And when he went and, and up there to Myrtle Beach. Some guys came and they they burglarized his house, cleaned him out. You know what I'm saying? Got got him for everything he had in the you know. Came back and you know how, how that goes. So be careful um, of, of disclosing when you're gonna be gone, 
be careful of disclosing what you're hauling. You know, don't make yourself a target. You're already just a target once people know that you're a trucker. Don't become more of a target by giving them uh, too much information to, to take advantage and manipulate you. Next, oh, this is a, this is a good one, y'all. Definitely. Some of that's not even talked about a lot, but you have, as a truck driver, you are definitely a target for scammers. Do not, like once you get on this road, I mean, I know y'all see the billboards always advertising, did you get hit by a big truck, big truck accident, and you know, all that crap, right? People um, run schemes and scams all day, every day to get get side swiped or pull out in front of you and stop so you could end up hitting the back of them or whatever. Because any accident that you have as a truck driver with, with a, uh, I don't say civilian, I don't think that's the right word, but someone that's not a, not a driver, because you are the professional, they're going to look at you with a way higher level of scrutiny than they do that other person. When you go in that, that courtroom as a driver, they going to be on your ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you something like that. They, they, they're not going to be lenient on you. They're going to they, they gonna dissect every piece of video. They're going to dissect every bit of your, uh, your logs. So stay on top of them logs as a driver because they're not going to play with you in that courtroom, you know, because they're looking at you as you're the professional. Yeah, they even if they are at fault, you know, if it, if it was a clear cut case and both of y'all were just civilians, not civilians, but both of y'all was just non CDL drivers, it'd be a clear cut case. The fact that you have that professional license, they're going to be looking at everything you do because you're supposed to be defensively driving also so they they you you're trained they're not trained be mindful that people will play games with truck drivers trying to get you to slide swipe them or or pull in front of you or get get you to hurt like get you to to damage they they probably somehow some way you know what i'm saying um don't you know put yourself in the best position make sure you're practicing uh defensive driving techniques and this 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 is my last one i got for y'all uh Be, be careful where you park your vehicle. This is another scam that get ran on drivers all day. I've been in multiple situations where I it, things didn't it, 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 things didn't all the way lined up where I parked my truck somewhere. Sometimes me even sleeping in it, not just even leaving it, but I had issues where I left it, and you know I get a boot on my truck or the tow truck. You know, like I get a boot on my truck and the tow truck guy right there and he he somehow like, hey man, yo, instead of, you know, telling me to move, he's like, yeah, man, uh, I'll take the boot off, but you got to give me a couple hundred bucks. You know, in similar situations like that, sometimes you'll think that the parking lot or or wherever the hell you park the truck at, that, that people will be like, hey, just move your truck. But... A lot of times they're targeting you and they, they wait for you to get there so they can figure some way to blackmail you and get some money out of you. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I mean, de definitely, man, be safe. Make sure that you're, you're, you're on the defense when it comes to people, relationships, uh, the information that you disclose as a driver, where you're going. Uh, when you're gonna go, um, make sure you, you you're aware of where you park your vehicle at, and don't forget to uh, leave like leave a comment below, man. Definitely, if you you're a driver and you have any experiences you wanna wanna um, add to this conversation that that may have may that you may had or tips you wanna give someone that's considering becoming a driver or other drivers or talk about your experiences as you know, your negative experiences with being the target, man, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, like share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, y'all.